Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to have yet another very interesting topic in the deep learning sector. Yes, we are going to learn one-shot learning, which is an emerging topic in deep learning and it's very easy to understand as well. It has got a lot of practical relevance and applications. Let's go into the concept right away. Can you identify this person in the Aadhaar card which is displayed? He is a very famous personality. He is a celebrity. Can you identify? No, right? That's the case with most of the other cards or any identity cards for that matter that we all hold. The photographs will never look like what you are in person. Let's first understand who is this person. This person is a very famous actor and he is Ritesh Deshmukh. He is very stylish in the second side but in the other photograph it never looks like that and it always is a problem. If you look at your face normally it could be definitely different from the one that you have it in the passport or in the identity cards or in the other card for that matter. Now, what exactly is the impact? Right, Aadhaar card, as you know, 99% of the photos in the Aadhaar card look different from the original photos. The passport check that happens in the airports and the border gates, this is yet another challenge. If they look at your photo and if they look at your face, definitely there will be a question, is this you? Can we identify the person in front of us and in the image if they are the same? It's definitely challenging. What's the guarantee that they are the same? That too, we cannot take risks in the area like the border or in the airport or those areas are very, really, very really difficult and one has to be really careful there. So this delays the process. This also increases the risk you are admitting a wrong person into the country. So there are a lot of problems here and we need a solution. Well, I'm going to take up another scenario here. Mr. Bean's reactions, we all will know. We, are, we all know very well about how Mr. Bean reacts and his passport face here. And he has got a couple of other photos here right in front of us. And you can see that this is the same as this, but this is not same as this. So can we reject it? But they are actually the same. So what do we mean here? Very simple. The photos in the documents, passports or any identity cards are not similar most of the cases with, with respect to the real images. How are we going to identify if they are the same? Right. Here we get the solution and that's called one shot learning. We are going to develop a computer vision system that will use two images it has never seen before and predict if both are the same. That's all. It's a very interesting and important area in facial recognition, passport checks, border security checks, all are going to be the important application sectors for this one shot learning. Right. We already have CNN in place, isn't it? We are using CNN quite vastly in all the areas. Then why do we have the SIR? Why do you have to go with one shot learning? Right, I'll give you the answer. CNNs are widely used. Yes, I agree. But what we need to go ahead with CNN is we need a lot of data, large amount of labeled data is required. But it's not available in abundance when it comes to the cases that we discussed. Gathering and labeling data is an expensive job that too, when it comes to the passport or the border verification or anything that sort will be very, very expensive. Billions of images is needed. Privacy issues will pop up and that's going to be a problem. So we need a solution that will not demand you to go with need for labeled images. So CNN will not be feasible. So what is feasible? One shot learning is the one hard solution that we have in hand, right? What do we do? Very simple. It changes the mode of the problem from a classification problem to a difference evaluation problem. All these days we have been looking at is a classification problem. But now we are going to change it to difference evaluation problem. It could be vague right now. Don't worry. I will explain you clearly. I've got the passport image in front of you. I've got the real image that I'm capturing in front of you or the person is standing in front of you. Now I need to understand if they are the same. So one shot learning will let you know if they are similar or not. That's what we are going to use. Neural network, the, the system that we design, it's essentially a neural network that will return a value which will show the similarity between the two images. If similar, a value lesser than the threshold that you have specified will be presented. Otherwise, a value higher than the threshold that you have kept will be presented. So you will obviously know if both the images are the same. Right. We need to understand one more very important point. One shot learning is fundamentally using a Siamese neural network architecture. Right. Remember it. Siamese neural network architecture. How? Yes. Because Siamese neural network trains to measure the distance between two input images, distance between the features in the two input images. 
which is basically used as a fundamental concept in the one shot learning this is called as difference evaluation problem how do they do it this is done with something called as triplet loss okay let's make it very simple you have got three images here and one and two are the same the third one is different we call it a p n a is nothing but anchor p is nothing but the positive image n is nothing but the negative image we will keep it very simple here in the scenario and we can explain this triplet loss trains the neural network by giving it three images one is the anchor image that's the original image second one is the positive image that's the correct image third one is negative image which could look closer but not similar right the neural network will now adjust its parameter so that the feature encoding so that the feature encoding values for the anchor and the positive images would be very very close so that the results would be saying us that the anchor and the positive images are similar but the negative image could be very different the values would be different for the negative images so finally a trained cms neural network should compare very clearly the two images and it would be able to give us the result as this is right and this is wrong it will compare the features as eyes nose and mouth and it will give you the exact output in this case 1 and 2 are right 1 and 3 are not going well so 3 is a negative image that's all this is called triplet loss and this is a very important point right what are the major advantages that one could really gather through this one shot learn first one we do not have any complexity in terms of labeling if you have a data set which has got 20 face images from two people which means you have got 10 images per person i have got 20 i have got 10 10 each now we can generate as much as 1800 apn trios from this data set and further we are cutting down the cost and time which is basically the problem which we had with convolutional neural network and we have a very nice process here and it's going to be very easy for us now what are the limitations sir you are talking only positive things do we have any limitations yes we have some limitation still we need to have a training done for a fairly large set of anchor positive and negative trios comparatively it is lesser but still we have to do a reasonable amount of work neural network tuned for one shot learning for facial recognition can't be used for some other task it's very specific once you design for it that's all it's done it cannot be used for anything else and this is very specific to this particular process and we cannot tune it for anything else it's it's very sensitive variations it's very very sensitive to variations for example if i wear a hat or a scarf or a glass or mustache is suddenly grown or if i have a french beard yeah there could be differences and it's going to be a problem and it still needs a lot of development in that sector so still we no longer need to train facial recognition dl model on all these faces in the world so it's worth giving a try that's it it's very easy to understand i hope you understood it if you have any questions suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be able to answer in case you like the channel and the content please give a thumbs up and subscribe thank you very much